So uh, I'm Ron. I've, uh, I talked about this thing already yesterday uh, in the workshop, but I'm going to do it again with slides. Uh, so uh, we are starting work on adding continuations and fibers uh, to the JVM. Uh, what I'm going to say is uh, not a promise. So a continuation, or more precisely, a delimited continuation, is an object that represents a computation that can be suspended or paused and resumed. A fiber is a lightweight thread. Uh, it's be it behaves exactly like a thread, but it is scheduled and managed not by the operating system kernel, but by the Java runtime or user code. Uh, and it's lightweight, uh, in terms, both in terms of memory and in terms of uh, switching costs. Uh, and a fiber, or a thread in general, is just a continuation plus a scheduler. And uh, we already have a very good scheduler in the JDK, so we just need to add the continuations. And fibers are the main motivation for adding continuations, uh, although they do have other uses. So why do we want to do this now? Uh, mostly s servers uh, are now experiencing uh, a much larger number of concurrent uh, open connections. And uh, it turns out that they spend much of their time just waiting for I.O. And the utilization of hardware is generally uh, very, very low. Uh, and developers have uh, two options. Either they write simple, easy to debug, easy to write, easy to understand code, uh, which just assigns a single thread per socket. Uh, but this code is not very scalable because it's limited by the number of threads that the operating system uh, can uh, manage. Or they can write scalable code uh, that is asynchronous. It's complex to write, to understand, uh, and to debug. And uh, not less importantly, uh, it's very hard. It doesn't interoperate well with legacy code uh, and with other synchronous code in general. And uh, with fibers, uh, you don't have this dilemma anymore. You can write code that is simple, maintainable, and interoperable, uh, but also scalable. So even if you have uh, a million concurrent connections, you can assign a single fiber or even more than that uh, to each of them. And uh, even existing code can be relatively easily uh, retrofitted to work with uh, fibers, and uh, uh, it's going to make you able to run uh, uh, write code that handles a much larger number of, uh, of connections on a single server requiring fewer servers. And the key idea is that the language runtime can make some assumptions uh, that make it much more suitable for uh, scheduling these lightweight threads than the OS, and that is why we can do better than the OS. So one of the ideas, it's not the only one, is to have uh, a fiber class uh, implemented in pure Java on top of continuations uh, that behaves like a thread, uh, but both of them implement some common interface representing the commonality, which is big between the two of them. Uh, and you could write code that is uh, agnostic to the kind of thread implementation, either, uh, either a fiber or a thread. And if you want to write a simple uh, web server, then you do, as, you do, as, you do it just uh, naively, as you normally do. Uh, so you can have a fiber that just loops around accepting new connections and assigning a new fiber for each of the connections. Uh, this is how we normally think of writing, writing a, a server. But of course, uh, many of us today don't do it this way because we know that blocking is bad. Uh, but this just makes blocking uh, essentially free and um, and uh, under the hood, it uses asynchronous I.O. and performs like asynchronous I.O. And we would want uh, uh, common Java programming patterns like uh, servlets and, and JAXRS to work more or less unchanged on fibers. Fibers also open the road to new interesting kinds of programming models like channels or actors. Uh, my favorite is something called uh, synchronous programming. Uh, not many know what it is, but look it up. Uh, another uh, thing we want to do is to enable fibers to be, when they're blocked, to enable them to be serialized. And that allows you to tear down the VM while uh, you wait for some event, or to move a running fiber closer to the data. Uh, so the idea is that Hotspot would implement a single primitive continuation class that captures the stack and implement fibers in Java on top of it. 
there are still some problems with how to handle synchronize, the you know, synchronize and object weight, and to retrofit uh, I/O to work with fibers. Thank you.